Hello Grade 11, welcome. In this video, you will learn how the movement of plates leads to the formation of folds and folds. Tara! Our discussion will focus on the learning competency explain how the movement of plates leads to the formation of folds and folds. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Define folds, fold, stress, and strain. And number 2. Explain how the movement of plates leads to the formation of folds and folds. If you can recall, the Earth's crust is divided into segments of land masses called plates. These plates are constantly moving in different directions, creating the three types of plate boundaries. We have the convergent boundary, where plates are moving towards each other. Divergent boundary, where plates are moving away from each other. And the transform fold boundary, where plates are sliding past each other. This movement leads to the deformation of the Earth's crust, creating folds and folds in rocks. Now what is a geologic fold? Fold is defined as a bend in rock due to compressional forces. Folds are created when two plates that make up the Earth's crust collide. Folds are most visible in rocks that contain layering. Rocks deforming plastically under compressive stresses crumple into folds depending on the rock materials. They do not return to their original shape. Deformation happens slowly. If the rocks experience more stress, they may undergo more folding. There are three types of folds, the monocline, anticline, and syncline. Monocline is a simple bend in the rock layers so that they are no longer horizontal. It looks like a single step. The older rocks are found at the bottom of the monocline and the newer ones are on top. Anticline is a fold that arches upward. The rocks dip away from the center of the fold. The top of the arc is called crest. The oldest rocks are at the center of the anticline and the youngest are draped over them. Sometimes, these older rocks become exposed. If it's fairly round, it is called a dome. And we have the syncline, a fold that bends downward. This kind of fold center is called hinge. Unlike monocline and anticline, new rocks are at the center and older rocks are at the outside. A French geologist builds sand models that demonstrates how mountains are formed. This experiment demonstrates the folding of rocks due to converging plate boundaries. Let's look at the demonstration. Now what is fault? Fault is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. Faults allow the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement may occur quickly in the form of an earthquake or may occur slowly in the form of a creep. There are three types of faults. The normal fault, reverse fault, and the strike-slip fault. Normal fold occurs when the crust is being pulled apart in which the overlying block moves down with respect to the lower block. Reverse fold occurs when the crust is being compressed in which the hanging wall block moves up over the foot wall block.
Strike slip fold refers to a deep slip fold in which the dip of the fold plane is vertical. Strike slip folds result from shear stresses, as you can see in the video. Now what causes folding and faulting are the natural forces that exist in the Earth's crust. Let's discuss stress and strain. Stress refers to the force applied to an object. There are three basic types of stress, the compression, tension, and shearing. Compression refers to the force acting perpendicular to and towards a surface. It happens when rock squeezes together causing rocks to fold or fracture or break. Tension refers to a force acting perpendicular to and away from a surface. Tension is the major type of stress at divergent plate boundaries. Shear, however, happens when a force acting parallel to a surface happens. When forces are parallel but moving in opposite direction, shear stress occur. This is the most common stress in transform fold boundaries. The word strain refers to the change in a solid shape caused by the application of a stress. Depending on the solid, a given stress might cause a great or small strain. Rocks only strain when placed under stress. There are three kinds of rock deformation. The first kind of deformation is called elastic. This happens when rock returns to its original shape when the stress is removed. Second is plastic deformation. This takes place when the rock does not return to its original shape when the stress is removed. And last is called fracture, which happens when the rock breaks because of too much stress. And that ends our lesson. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. Hey, hey.